Hello, my name is Rusudan. I'm a deputy CFO at Nomad Capitalist, and today we are going to show you the cost of living in Georgia. I like to start my Saturday morning with a good cup of coffee from one of Tbilisi coffee shops. Let's go to my favorite one. Tbilisi is the city of coffee lovers. You can, you can, here you can come and choose your favorite coffee beans and they will roast and grind for you in this machine that they will just show us right now. So this is in gel, uh, but in dollars it will be around $15 per half, half a kilo. So it's a good choice. So our coffee is ready. So we got uh, 250 grams of, of uh, organic and uh, Ethiopian mocha seed almond. And uh, this costs uh, seven, eight dollars to, for 250 grams. And it smells amazing. Here you can uh, buy one cup of Americano for two dollars. 2.5 dollars but the quality is amazing and you can actually see when they grind and uh, prepare the coffee for you and plus the smell here is awesome so you should definitely come one of the most important costs of uh, cost that you have to take into consideration when moving to a new city is rent uh, so if you're looking for something in the prime part of the city let's say Wag Ever and and then depending on the size the prices of course differ so if you're looking for something up to 70 square meters then the cost will be around 400 or 600 a month if you're looking for something between 70 square meters and 120 square meters then the cost will be around 700 dollars from 700 dollars to I think $1,200 a month and uh, for larger apartments let's say up to 200 meters the cost will be around 2000 a month so but these locations are all very central and primary and everything is very uh, close uh, walking distance to every interesting place in the city I guess and now let's go to a supermarket to look at the grocery prices you can find crypto ATMs all over Tbilisi, as you can see. Georgia is a big wine producer. Here you can find different unique types of wine and we pride ourselves on a huge wine culture. Especially uh, we have uh, many kinds of dry red and white wine. But we can talk about that later in my favorite wine bar where I am going to take you in the end of this video. Georgian soil is a very prosperous and our supermarkets and farmer markets sell uh, homegrown vegetables, fruits and meats, uh, also some groceries from around the world. The quality of food in Georgia is very high, everything is uh, grown organically and in big quantities, that's why the prices for groceries are very affordable. Uh, here in Georgia we adore our cuisine, we love our hingali, those are dumplings, also hajabubi, cheese pies and some cold starters made from different types of vegetables, garlic and nuts. Also, Georgia produces a lot of types of cheese, which is so nice to have with some uh, glass of excellent wine. And now I will take you to a very nice western cuisine restaurant. For example, breakfast at this cafe costs four or five dollars and during work days you can come here and have lunch for eight, nine dollars and it tastes very good and this is more western style cafe. Um, in general, Tulasi of course has a great Georgian cuisine that you can enjoy but if you're looking for something more western or Asian and vegan uh, where we have a lot of new places popping up with high quality so you can enjoy that too. And for actually Georgian cuisine offers a great deal of delicious flavorful uh, vegetarian dishes too. Taxi costs in Tbilisi are pretty low. Uh, for 10 and 20 minute drive, you are going to have to pay $3. And for like 
10 minutes drive, the cost will be around $2. Uh, it's for the transportation to and from the airport. It usually should cost you around $8. One of the benefits of uh, living in Tbilisi is that you can drink tap water, um, which, is in, which in itself is very good, but it's also very uh, good for the environment as you do not have to buy plastic bottles of water. Um, it's very popular to buy used cars in, in Georgia and you can get a very good deal on that. So depending on the make and model and the year of production, your car can cost from $7,000 to $20,000. Um, and you have to take into consideration property tax on cars. So you have to pay for taxes on, uh, for, on your car if your income from previous year is more than $15,000. And pay attention that it's Georgian uh, income, Georgian source income. Uh, as for the taxes, it depends on the year of uh, the production of the car. If your car is less than one year old, you have to pay around twenty dollars. If your car is around uh, from one or to 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 five years old, then you have to pay one hundred and twenty lari, so that's approximately forty dollars. And if your car is up to ten years old, then you have to pay um, two hundred and forty lari, so that's around. Um, eighty dollars, and if your car if your car is older than ten years, then you have to pay five hundred dollars. Now this is my favorite wine bar. I'm very excited to show it to you. Follow me. If you are in Tbilisi, if you're in Georgia, you should definitely taste some wine. And one of the best places to do that is here, right in the middle of the city. This place is called 8,000 Mutages, and you can find it right behind the Opera House. Uh, and you can come in and feel like you are in, in like having a wine, because everywhere you go, there are wine bottles and a lot of different choices. So. You can buy wine probably from like nine dollars, even seven dollars, and then the prices go up to um, maybe fifty dollars. But if you want to buy something very rare, and if you're paying attention to what year the wine, is, wine and the vintage is coming from, then you definitely um, the prices maybe go up a bit. But you can see, so let's say this Saparavi, this is red uh, dry wine. Um, it's it's approximately um, 16, 15 dollars, even less. And um, I just found the wine from the Marani of uh, my kind of, this is my surname. And <laughs> it just so happens that it was lying here, so it's kind of cool. You probably heard that Georgia is a wine country. And the reason for that is that uh, recently, a few years ago, it was proven that uh, the oldest wine was made in Georgia. So during some archaeological excavations, so they found a, a grape seed in a pl clay pot uh, that proves that Georgian people were making wine 8,000 years ago, the same way that they are making it now. So that's pretty amazing and we are very proud of that. You can definitely feel that when you come to, to, the, to Georgia. Uh, so if you want to taste one of the oldest, if not oldest, uh, wines in, in, in the whole world, you should definitely visit Georgia. Uh, and if you have time, you should definitely come to the 8000 Vintages. Uh, that, uh, the mission of this um, shop and bar is to make sure that small uh, winemakers can have the opportunity to provide to um, to have a place to sell their wine and to improve their quality. So that's why we have this uh, amazing variety of different types of wine in this place. And if you have even more time, you should definitely go visit the Kaheti region. This is the wine region of Georgia, where you can enjoy and stay at uh, authentic uh, wine winery, where you can see how the method, what's the methodology of 
uh, making Georgian wine. It, it's a bit different from how um, everybody else does it. This methodology is actually um, proven, is actually under UNESCO World Heritage because it's the methodology that nobody else uses and it's the oldest one um, and you can definitely uh, say that we are very proud of that. And you should definitely come here and see if you if it's to your liking. So, uh, and do one more thing. Uh, well, um, with wine you definitely want some cheese, and you can taste that in Georgia too. We have uh, various types of cheese, and it's definitely worth uh, trying some. Today is Saturday, so we will finish our day at the bar, of course. Uh, this is a group of bars and restaurants located together. It's called Wine Factory Number no. 1. Here you can find Georgian, American and Mexican cuisine restaurants. So the location is right in the middle of the city, so it's great. Uh, our YouTube manager, Taco, is going to join me today. Tbilisi is full of great nightclubs and restaurants, so you won't be bothered. And the prices for alcohol are also very affordable. For example, for these cocktails, we paid uh, $5 each. So, cheers! This was a tour of my home city, Tbilisi, one of the places that Nomad Capitalists recommend to go where you are treated best. Have you ever been to Tbilisi? You can leave your comments below. Don't stop now. We've got well over a thousand more videos here on YouTube for you to watch and learn how to go where you're treated best. And if you want to work with Nomad Capitalist personally, go to nomadcapitalist.com slash apply, learn about our unique tried and true process, garnered over years of experience, and learn how you can become our client.